This is the gun bud. I'll link it in the description box below. It's supposed to be one of those uh, spray gun LED lights. I was trying to do some research to try to get one of those uh, lu uh, Lumen, or they, they have different names for them, I guess. I was having trouble, so I just went with this one. It was the top rated one on Amazon. I haven't tried it. It looks pretty bright. I put a plastic bag on there for now. It's just a little Ziploc bag until I get some sandwich bags. And I mounted my GoPro on top of it. So the idea is that when I'm spraying, I want to be able to capture, I just want to be able to see, but also I want to be able to, to capture it with, with the GoPro. So I'm gonna try it out. Uh, it was only like 60 bucks. It seems cool. It has a rechargeable battery, which is pretty decent. I can basically plug it in. It comes with a, a little cord right here to charge it. I have it on the gun. <laughs> I struggled to get it on there. Honestly, with the GoPro mount on top, I'm gonna have to figure something else out because that GoPro mount, I guess it's like a wrist strap, so it's real bulky. And then it's kind of like free spins. So I'm gonna have to see if there's something I can actually order that would be specifically for that. Or I can just, <laughs> I thought about putting, uh, gluing a, a, one of those uh, GoPro mounts on there, but the thing about that is with solvent, I know eventually it will come loose. So, But the idea is that I'll be able to capture the spray pattern uh, right up close. My first initial thoughts, it's pretty solid. The strap is kind of finicky. I hate that it has one of those um, the little loops on the strap. They have that little cut in the middle where you can pull it out and then put it back in. I, I, I don't like that because I've sat here literally and, and fought that for like the past 10 minutes because I would move the GoPro and it would knock the camp, the, the light off the strap. So I'd have to put it back on, but then it would pull the strap down. So first initial thoughts, it's well built. I don't like the strap. Uh, I like that it's rechargeable. Uh, it seems pretty bright. I'm gonna try it on the sealer uh, and just kind of see what it does before I start laying some base down. Cause I gotta lay some silver and uh, some brandy wine over the top of it. So um, we're gonna check it out and I'll let y'all know how it goes. Uh, but right now I just got it wiped down. Fix it to kick the booth on and get this mixed up. The LED light is a pretty good little light for the price. I think it's a cheap, affordable alternative to the Lumen 3. Eventually, I will get that, obviously. But for what I need it for right now, I think it's a good little alternative for the price of like 60 bucks. I know it's a third of the price of the other one. So it's something that I can use, and eventually I can just kind of use it sparingly and get something better. So overall, it was a decent little light. Would I recommend it? Yes. If you're looking for something on a budget, I would probably recommend it. If you have the money, then I would say go ahead and get the good one because obviously you know, the other one speaks for itself. So, all right, that's gonna wrap it up, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please consider hitting that like button for me. Drop a comment down below if you liked the video. Uh, consider subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, I highly recommend to do so. I have a lot of videos coming up. I have a lot of projects that I have to drop because I'm trying to catch up from everything that I did in 2021 that I have yet to post it. I have a lot of videos backed up on my computer and I just gotta go through and edit them and stuff like that. So if you haven't subscribed yet, I consider subscribing. Uh, please do so. Share this video with your friends. Uh, drop a comment down below. I'm glad y'all enjoyed it. I'm glad y'all tuned into the very end, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Later.